Guys, you may not be aware but you can actually get a work permit as fast as two weeks without having to provide proof of funds, no IELTS, no LMIA, no point system whatsoever. Hello everyone, my name is Id and this program that we are talking about is the Global Talent Stream which is under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. By the way guys, I have a new Facebook page named Zid Canada. You can find the link to the page down in the description box below. Feel free to follow me or follow the page where I post a lot of content about immigration, about jobs, and of course about my Canadian journey. Guys, through this program, Canadian employers can hire foreign workers like you whose occupations are in high demand. Guys, in just two weeks, you can receive your work permits, making it easier and quicker for you to come and work in Canada. Now guys, let's talk about how much salary you would be getting once you start working in Canada and this is something I find quite interesting for this program. So under category A of this program, your salary will be at least $38 per hour which is equivalent to about $80,000 per year. Now guys, for unique and specialized positions, your salary will be at least $72 per hour which is equivalent to about $150,000 per year. Now to be eligible for the global talent stream, you need a job offer from a Canadian employer that is recognized by the program. Now guys, a while ago I have mentioned category A which is the first category for which you can be hired under. So guys, you will be applying under category A of the GTS if your employer has been referred by one of the stream's designated referral partners. Now guys, let me show you the list of designated partners by going to canadacareersite.com slash fac. I repeat, that's canadacareersite.com slash fac. Or you can click the immigration facts menu right here and then scroll the way down until you find the section where it says list of designated partners for referral to global talent stream category A. Go ahead and click on the section and it will show you all the list of designated partners grouped per province. So we have from Alberta, Calgary Economic Development. From British Columbia, we have Accelerate Okanagan. From Manitoba, we have Tech Manitoba. From Saskatchewan, we have Government of Saskatchewan, Ministry of Immigration and Career Training. From New Brunswick, we have Ignite Federicton. From Newfoundland and Labrador, we have Genesis. From Nova Scotia, we have Cape Breton. Prince Edward Island, Ontario, Quebec, Pan-Canadian, as well as the Atlantic region. Now guys, to verify if your employer is legit for this category, your employer must be operating in Canada, have a focus on innovation, have a willingness and is capable of growing or scaling up, as well as must be seeking to fill a unique and specialized position in the company and has identified a qualified foreign worker for potential hire into that unique and specialized position. Now with category A comes another category guys which is of course category B. You will be applying under category B of the GTS if you have been offered a job from one of the 17 occupations which I will provide you right now. Let me show you guys the 17 occupations under the GTS Global Talent Stream Category B. So same thing, go to canadacareersite.com slash fact. I repeat, that's canadacareersite.com slash fact. Or you can click the Immigration Facts menu right here and then scroll all the way down until you find the section where it says Global Talent Occupations List, Global Talent Stream Category B. Go ahead and click on this section. Now guys, once you click on that, it will show you the 17 list of occupations. Now to qualify for Global Talent Stream Category B, Canadian employers must demonstrate a need to fill positions for which there is a shortage of qualified Canadian workers. Candidates like you in the position listed below are encouraged to apply through Category B of the Global Talent Stream. So we have Web Developer and Designer, Computer Network Technician, Information Systems Testing Technician, Computer Programmer and Interactive Media Developer, we have Civil Engineers, Electrical and Electronics Engineers, Digital Media and Design, Mining Engineers, Software Designer and Engineer, Computer and Information Systems Engineers, Information Systems Analyst and Consultant, Database Analyst and Administrator, Computer Engineers, Electrical and Electronics Engineering Technologists and Technicians, we have Mathematicians and Statisticians, we also have 
aerospace engineers as well as producer, technical creative and artistic developer, project manager for video games and visual effects. Now guys, you can actually click in any of these links to show current job opportunities for these jobs. It is a thousand dollars but you as a foreign worker will not be paying this. Instead, your employer will be the one covering this cost. Guys, if you haven't already, feel free to follow me on my new Facebook page, Zid Canada. I repeat, that's Zid Canada, where I post tons of content to help you immigrate or get a job in Canada.